Hey everyone, welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we build. Each month, we bring your creative idea to life with an exciting robotics project. And this time, we have got something truly useful: Bluetooth controlled garage. This project is inspired by an awesome request from Alexander Luther nine two six eight, who requested making a complete tutorial for this project. Big thanks for your great idea. Keep your request coming, and who's know your idea might be our next build. Let's dive into it. Here, what we will need for this project: an Arduino Uno one eight six five Bluetooth module. Next, we have sixteen into two LCD display with sixteen pins. One I two C module to simplify the wiring of LCD. One servo motor. Two LEDs: red LED for wrong password and green LED for correct password. One buzzer. Two tungsten resistors. One breadboard. One USB cable. Some jumper wires. A double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch. Two rechargeable batteries and one mobile phone to run the Bluetooth app. Let's start by setting up the connections. Take the Arduino and breadboard. First of all, let's power the breadboard. Connect one jumper wire from the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard, and another wire from the GND pin to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now take the Bluetooth module and connect male to female jumper wires in it. Connect the VCC pin of HC505 module to the positive rail on the breadboard. GND pin of the Bluetooth to the GND rail on the breadboard. Next, connect the TXD pin of the HC5 to the Arduino RX pin and RXD pin to HC05 to the Arduino TX pin. Now we'll connect the LCD display with the I2C module. The I2C module simplifies the wiring to just four connections: VCC, GND, SDA, and SCL. Connect the SCL pin of the I2C module to the corresponding A5 pin of the Arduino. SDA to A4 of Arduino. Connects its VCC to the positive rail on the breadboard. Connects its GND to the GND rail on the breadboard. Now take the servo motor and connect male to male jumper wires in it. Connect the brown wire to the ground rail on the breadboard. Connects its red wire to the positive power wire, and then connect the orange wire to digital pin nine on the Arduino. Now let's connect the LEDs. Place the LEDs on the breadboard, ensuring the longer leg that is anode on the one side and the shorter leg that is cathode to the ground rail on the breadboard via 220 ohm resistors. Connect the anode of the green LED to pin six and anode of the red LED to pin seven. Insert the buzzer on the breadboard like this. Connect its negative pin to the GND rail on the breadboard. And connect the positive pin to digital pin eight on the Arduino. Make sure to double check your connections with the circuit diagram. Now download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. We use Word dot H for I two C communication, Liquid Crystal underscore I two C dot H for LCD, and Servo dot H to control the servo motor. We define the pins for the green LED, red LED, buzzer, and servo motor. The correct password is stored as double eight two six. That is. Change it. We create an object for the servo motor. We create an object for LCD display with I to Z address 0 by 27. We define a variable receive data to store Bluetooth messages. Serial communication is started at 9600 baud rate to receive Bluetooth data. LEDs and buzzer are set as outputs. The servo motor is attached and set to zero degree. The LCD initializes and displays a welcome message. Now this function moves the servo motor gradually. Instead of instantly jumping to an angle, if the servo needs to open, it moves from zero to ninety degrees slowly. If the servo needs to close, it moves from ninety degree to zero degree slowly. The step delay thirty millisecond ensures smooth movement. We check if Bluetooth data is received. The message is read and stored in received data. Trim function removes extra spaces or new lines to avoid errors. If the correct password double eight two six is received, the LCD displays access granted. The green LED turns on to indicate success. The servo motors move from 0 to 90 degree to open the gate. After 5 second LCD displays closing gate, the green LED turns off and the red LED turns on. The buzzer beeps for 1 second as a warning. The servo moves from 90 degree to back 0 degree closing the gate. If the wrong password is received, the LCD shows wrong password. The red LED and buzzer turn on for 1 second. The gate remains closed. After closing the LCD reset to waiting for password. The system is ready for next user, and that's it. Now, before uploading the code, make sure to remove the TX and RX pins from the Arduino. Then connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select Port and Board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now, click on the Upload button. All right. Now, connect the TX and RX pins again as connected earlier. Now, install the circuit in some garage-like structure made up of cardboard or something. Let's power the Arduino by using our battery pack via DC power jack. 
Here our Arduino is ready to communicate with the Bluetooth module. You will see the LED on the Bluetooth module will start blinking, indicating it's ready to pair. Next open the Bluetooth setting on your smartphone and scan for new devices. Look for a device name HC05 or HC06 and select it to pair. If prompted for a password enter 1234 or 4 times 0. Once paired, your smartphone will remember this connection, making it easy to reconnect in the future. Now download this Bluetooth terminal application directly from the link given below in the description and open it and connect it to the module. If the correct password is entered, the gate opens slowly and after a few seconds it closes automatically. If the wrong password is entered, an alarm sound and the gate remains closed. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.